Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I shall be attempting to take this 1985 BMW 323i Cabriolet from shabby to shiny. Now this is the 234th collaboration with my old mate from New Zealand. Danny's die cast disasters. Um, we've done a few of these, and I hope you like these collaborations because <laughs> we've got about another dozen or so in the pipeline. Um, it might take us over the next year to do them, but still, I hope you do like them. I hope you do check out the links below uh, to check out Danny's video as well. But yeah, this one's a BMW E30 shape, and it's one of my favourite BMWs of all time. So we start by drilling down the centre of the posts, two on this car, remove those flanges and tap those holes. Remember, lubricate the end of your piece, you do not want to snap that. And remembering my very handy vice. So this is the car in question, this is a 1985 BMW E30 shape. 323. Now Danny said to me, how about, you know, what we're going to do for our next collaboration? And he suggested 80s convertibles. That's a bit of me, that. So, um, yeah, I had a couple to the side of me and I said to him, well, I've got this BMW and I also had a an Escort XR3. I said, you decide. And uh, he, well, he said, I'd like to see you do that BMW. So I jumped straight on it. But, uh, you know, both of them will be done. The Escort will be done at some point as well. But I'm glad he picked this one because I wanted to do this one, to be honest. But let's uh, take it apart and see what we're playing with. So it pops off nicely. Thankfully this is the model where the wheels are easily removed and this today will be getting a wheel swap but I'll keep those as backups or spares interior here I was a bit concerned I wondered whether it would had kind of dried out um, I thought it was brittle and I was wondering whether I'd be able to actually use it. But thankfully, it's just a layer of dust and grime over the years. Um, so I'll clean that up later. Huge interior piece here which houses not only the rear bumper, front bumper, front lights and grille. But also the kind of cover for the uh, cabriolet. And the window section there in very bad condition. It's not only broken, but it's very brittle. And I thought I was going to be able to save it today. Um, I was sadly mistaken. And this window section is now in the bin. Same with this kind of top cover here. Um, bent up and it's cracked in all areas. But I thought, you know what I'm going to do? Now there's the two styles of BMW E30 convertible and cabriolet. Um, I prefer the version where it doesn't have this. And I think they call it the Bower, if I remember rightly. Um, so I wanted to do away with that and just have the like front windscreen with no bars but as you can see, it was bent, and I thought I could probably just bend this back with my fingers. And I did kind of make a good start to it. It did straighten up there. You can see one of the wing mirrors is pushed back, but my plan was to uh, just chop it off and keep the front section. It didn't happen. I'm afraid it was too far gone, and it just crumbled and snapped off in my hand. But this is still a convertible, 
and it still looks good with a windscreen but like I say this windscreen in particular it just didn't work so I'm gonna think about it and uh, I was just gonna go forward to the uh, caustic soda but then I come across another windscreen so 25 internet points if you can tell me where this windscreen had come from and it is matchbox and I have trimmed it down but this is what we're going to be rocking up with today but yeah 25 points and you can see compared to the uh, to the standard one so it looks a little bit more purposeful you know for uh, a convertible so back to the caustic soda cover it with some boiling water in my foot long hot dog jar and a couple of teaspoons of caustic soda I, mean, I think three today actually I must really get myself a new tablespoon because the one I'm using is <laughs> is, uh, is all bent up and half melted to be honest I need a metal one so whilst that's uh, doing its thing to one side we'll chuck the plastics into some warm soapy water And then a short while later, you got the window section there, getting its dip into the pledge. Uh, revive it, and then tap it off. And the kind of bumper section has come out quite nice here. I did give it a little light spray with some uh, black paint, but I then dropped it on the floor and covered in dog hair. I was. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't know. I was, you know, I was pretty, pretty angry with myself. It cleaned off all right, and I had to redo it. But anyway, so it's probably been five or so minutes. You can see the paint there of what is still hanging onto the base can just be rubbed off with my fingers, and then the main casting still a little bit on the insides. I'll polish it off using Ella's tool and the little wire, steel wire brush there. And as you can see, that come out beautiful. Actually, uh, Ella's tool is so much better than what I had before. So much more powerful because it's a, an actual plug-in rather than battery operated. And I'm able to kind of get these uh, castings more shiny than uh, before. But I'm using this X27, which is the first time it literally had just arrived. Um, in the mail and I thought well let's just use it on today I was going to use the matchbox slurry um, whatever color that kind of currently was or you know, add a little bit of something to it to give it a different turn but um, yeah this turned up in the mail with a few other bits and pieces but uh, I thought well this would be quite nice the casting itself polished up pretty good uh, as you can obviously see I haven't gone with any primer on this so this is kind of, I guess I'm painting it on almost like a, a spectre flame. Um, you know, I can't buy that in the UK, or at least it's so expensive because I have to import it from the US. So this is the next best thing. You know, I haven't chrome plated or done whatever to the uh, casting. I've just buffed it up. But after one coat, I'm starting to get an idea of what this is going to look like. Obviously, the more coats you put on, the darker it gets. I think I only put on two coats. But whilst that dries to one side, I'm just going to cover the base now in a single layer of black paint. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Always does a good little job, that. So it's a day later now. Interior is dry, little window section there is dry, 
Remember, your 25 points are up for grabs if you can tell me what car that come from. This has had a little, uh, little dash of paint, and I'm going to paint in the front headlights shortly. And uh, you can wait for the final reveal on that one. Uh, there's the interior there. Got a couple of little light sections down at the bottom there. That I'm going to paint in also. And then there's the main casting. You can see it's got a nice shine to it. I'm going to paint in the rear number plate and the rear lights. Not that you can really see it. It's actually more red in person. But uh, on camera, yeah, it's not the kind of same colour. But uh, putting on these gold alloy wheels, I'll put a link down in the description for those. But anyway, a little reminder of what she looked like. And the result. So you can see the painted in front lights there. Nice shine on this colour. The side blinkers I've also painted in. The gold wheels. I think the glass section looks pretty good. You know, remember this obviously had quite an extensive body modification, really. So this really is a one-off. I love this colour. I wonder what kind of changes if I was to paint it over, a, say, a white base or a black base. Um, or a silver so I'm looking forward I've got a few different colors of this uh, kind of clear but anyway remember check down in the below description for Danny's video and channel and I just want to take uh, this opportunity to thank all of my patrons including brand new patron Giovanni Turco and thank you guys for watching please like the video and I'll see you on the next one